In this video I'm going to show you how to make your Raspberry Pi an AirPlay receiver so you can play music to your Raspberry Pi and it will go through the speakers connected to that so then you can listen to your music. So first of all we are going to want to install a load of software packages that aren't already installed on the system. So what you're going to want to do is go to the article on richardtech.net and copy this massive command so you can install all of the packages. So let's install these. We want to make sure that we've got sudo in front of it. And there we go. We will just install all of those packages now and that will help us set up this AirPlay receiver. Okay, so now that's done. We want to download the SharePort software, which is going to let us run the AirPlay receiver. So you want to run the second command, which is here. We want to clone this source off GitHub, and then it will download onto the Pi. So now we want to go to that folder, so we're going to put in CD SharePort. So now we're in that folder. Now we just want to set up the install and run it. So what we're going to do is run this command. <clears throat> and now SharePort has been installed. So now what we want to do is start SharePort and give our Raspberry Pi a name. So we're going to call it not Apple Pi. But you can call it whatever you want, you just have to make sure it's inside these apostrophes. So now it's done and it will appear on our airport connection so I'll now switch to the camera. So I have just gone and got my iPod. Here is the song that I'm going to play. It's a song from the Tech in 2013 video. Make sure you check that out. But as you can see, here we have not Apple Pie. And we're just going to turn it down a bit. And there you go. You can hear it in the background, hopefully. And this is coming through the Raspberry Pi. I am seeing code on the terminal. So we're going to go back on that and we're going to check our volume settings on the Raspberry Pi. So we are back at the terminal and we just want to run the mixer by typing in ALSA mixer. We're going to turn up the sound to around 75. We don't want it to get too distorted. Hopefully this will be decent. And we'll just press escape to save the changes. But anyway, thanks for watching the tutorial. Make sure to subscribe and like. And if it helps you, make sure to share the video as well. But otherwise, that's it for this episode. For more techie stuff, check us out at richardtech.net. Thanks for watching.